Okay, now we get to the DX segment. And this took a while. They they had plenty of time for this one somehow. Even though the cage match got rushed. Cause again, this is a three-hour program of interviews and entrances. So, and again, Road Dog, X Pac, Triple H, and Sean, and Kurt Angle was out there. And they did. Again, the thing with DX for its time, we talked about this with the DX reunion a while back, not long ago. For its time, yes, all the edgy teenage kids like the cussing and the gesticulating. But now they're all 50 and they're all gray headed or bald and they're all or 60, I should say, and they're all gray headed or bald and they're still act. And now they had to act like they didn't notice that Kurt Angle was out there with them. And then they're doing their shtick, but they're doing their shtick that gets interrupted because Road Dog can't introduce Billy Gunn and Triple H is about to say, let's get ready to suck it when Imperium's music plays. And it's the same thing again. Here is Kurt Angle, Road Dog, X Pac, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, five of the biggest names of the past 25 years in the company. Here comes Imperium, including Gunther, who is not only being presented as one of the top guys currently today, but is actually one of the best talents in the business. But they have to be presented as fucking stooges and dipshits to stand there and let the 50 and 60 year old guys make jokes and crack funnies and triple H roll his eyes about if only there was somebody that could come out to hit the music cue. Cause here comes fucking Seth, but there's only one of him. If only there were more people and here come the street profits. If only someone could make this match official, and here comes Teddy Long to make the match official. They're parodying their own program, and they're using the current talent to stand there and not get the joke, and to just, they're, you know, they're pissing on them. And, you know, at first they were going to fight Gunther, but then Triple H says, I'm retired, dude. Sean says, I'm too old, and they all joke about not being able to fight the guy. But the guy has to stand there and nothing's happening for him. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I saw I saw it live, yeah. So so finally it took for fucking ever to get all the other people out there and then Teddy Long and they make a six-man tag and then they do the bit, well, if only we had somebody who could keep order. And then Kurt has already pulled off his t-shirt he wore in the ring to reveal a dx shirt and now he pulls off the dx shirt and he's got a referee shirt underneath because it was all set up ahead of time because it's all phony they're just making fun of their show being phony and the only ones that and the fans are in on the joke and triple h and dx and kurt the only ones ain't in on the joke is the big fucking guy across the ring that he and his stooges have to be the ones drawing the money and they look like a bunch of dipshits. And then they had a six-man tag, and the baby faces won it. And and and, by, and then Stace had come back in and said, the street prophets, she said, do they always come out dressed that way? They had basketball uniforms on. This was for the 76ers colors, I believe, because they were in Philly. But she, they always, I said, yeah, they always have basketball uniforms. And she said, and the red solo cups? I said, yes. And then she walked out again. And so now they they beat, they didn't beat Gunther, but they beat Gunther's team lost and he was in there. <clears throat> Your thoughts? Oh, I mean, I don't want to shit on everything, but I hate the DX brand of comedy. It's a unique brand of the WWE brand of comedy that is especially terrible. Gunther's involvement in all this. I'm glad he was able to appear on Raw for this. You know, I remember thinking a few months ago when DX had their reunion, I hope this isn't the last time we see DX. All kidding aside, that was four months ago or something. They had a reunion. Now they're back with another reunion. Uh, I mean, 
The show started strong. Whatever you want to say about the long trial segment, people were into it. It was captivating. It was good. The match ended up being good. But I started getting to a point around here where I was like, I don't know how much longer I'm going to go. And I fell, for the record, I fell asleep at 10 o'clock and had to watch the rest the next day. Well, we were right there at about 10 o'clock by this point. What would have hurt if DX had come out and done all of their stuff and they're, you know, done their promos that people want to hear and then Imperium come out and Gunther got up in Triple H's face and say, you're an executive around here now, so I'll talk to you. I don't care about the rest of your clown show friends. Shawn Michaels, if you look sideways at me, and I know you probably will, no matter how you look at me, look sideways at me. <laughs> I will chop you into insensibility and X pack. I'll break your neck and whatever, and have a face to face with triple H about how he needs to be Gunther. That is the top guy in this fucking company and triple H better get with the program and start menacing them and let the current guys, Seth Rollins and the street profits. If it has to be come out and save a potential bad situation with a guy's had heart problems and another is several other people that have injuries and are retired in their fifties from Gunther and they're at his stooges. And then they have them instead. The senior citizens have made these other guys look like nerdy dipshits and then bring in the stooges to do their light work. I don't know. 